welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we are going to head to Jupiter. So I hope you guys are ready. So you guys don't even want to know how long this took to find. You really don't. Um, so I am several, several blocks away, and I have been going to meteor to meteor, running out of food, um, slowly mining out the inside of these things to discover this. Um, so the main things I have found is iron ore, silver ore, and I've end up I found uh, some more of that uh, meteoric iron. But this is what I'm after. Oh my gosh, this uh, is it. It's ilmenite. I think I was calling it li limonite, but it's it's ilmenite. I think ore. This stuff. Oh my gosh, this took so long to find. And I really hope I get, uh, yeah, everything out of here. Like, okay, good. I was about to say, please. I hope I mined all of it. Um, I might not have. But it does look like I got a, a bunch of it, which is great. Oh my gosh, because this stuff is such a pain. Oh yeah, there's so much more. Okay, so at least I only need to do one, like to call myself covered. Yeah, there's there's so much more. Okay, good, good, good. Because we are going to need a little bit of this. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm so glad there's so much. Okay. Oh, man. But this still, this took so long. So I recommend, if you guys are after this stuff, with, like I was, um, I recommend to make sure that you're mining out the center of these blocks and not just looking um, for them individually out in the open. Um, I didn't realize that. Of course, there's not really much of tooltips once you get towards this part of the pack. Um, so you're kind of just left to venture into the wikis um, of these mods. And uh, these mods, as far as documentation go, they're all right. But uh, they're definitely not very descriptive as far as everything. So um, I recommend mining these areas out. I'll show you just a few. This is one that I've been mining out or I mined out. This was another that I mined out. Go after these smaller ones because there's a high chance that they might be in here. Don't go after those massive ones because you're gonna have a hard time. Yeah, like these, you're gonna have a hard time going inside them and finding anything. Uh, but like this, for example, this is another one that I mined out. This one has aluminum, not silver. I said silver earlier, I meant aluminum. So aluminum and iron is pretty much what I found, but eventually you'll find that, hopefully. And uh, oh, I'm so glad that I, I ventured off because I even made a, uh, I posted on the issue tracker about this for this pack because I thought that I was going to have to cheat these items in because I literally have been searching for so long and couldn't find them. So I thought maybe they just weren't generating, but it does look like they are generating. So that's good to know. That is good to know. Ah, oh, man. So just like with everything else, I have to process this. So um, to get the titanium ingots, I went ahead and actually just threw it inside of a um, right here. Let's see. I took the uh, the ore here. I threw it inside of an enrichment chamber. And then the uh, the enrichment chamber, I took that and dropped this into a energized smelter. And then we're getting the titanium. Now I need to make it into plates because we're going to need the titanium for a tier four rocket. Uh, so here's the tier four rocket, which we have up here. And then right here is the tier two launch pad that we're going to need to launch the rocket. Right. So things are getting a little bit uh, a little bit different. You can see right here it says needs to be placed on a tier two launch pad. And then here is the tier two launch pad. So this is going to be super simple to make this as we just need a, a little bit of compressed and then the actual ingots. Whereas this, uh, it's required in things like the wing. Um, and I think that's about it. Just the wing, I think, is the only thing that requires that. Other than that, we're ready to go. Like all we need is just a few of these. I can probably actually pull this out because we're I mean, I have everything to make this. <laughs> I literally have everything to be able to make this. So. Uh, let's go ahead and make this, which uh, we're going to need nine to make the launch pad. At least I, th I think so. Uh, oh, wait. It says the launch pad is a five by five square. So a five by five is going to require a bit more uh, to make. So that makes total sense. We're going to need 25 total launch pads. Interesting. Uh, now, for all these other parts, they're super simple as I'm going to go ahead and put them together. Um, I do have all of the plates. So um, what is this actually called? This is a tier four. Uh, does it even show up? 
plates. I have I've been processing plates like crazy. So here's a heavy duty plate. So we have 50 of them. So I hope that's enough. Uh, but to make things like the wing, it's like we totally have enough to do this. And I'm pretty sure we have enough because the rocket's not any larger than any of the other rockets. Uh, it's, it's pretty much the same size as far as material cost. Just requires this more advanced material uh, or this like super crazy crafting material. We're getting really close because we're getting really close to a tier five rocket. Now, this isn't the only thing we're going to need as we're going to probably need to upgrade our uh, suit because we are going to be heading to new planets. Um, we're going to be able to make it to a uh, series. I think that's right. Which this is actually a... Uh, it, I mean, it says the type is planet, but anyways. Um, and we're going to be making... So this is a tier four. Jupiter is also a tier four. Saturn is the tier five. So... Um, we can now travel to, it looks like, Ceres and Jupiter. And that's about it before things get crazy and we need, like, to, yeah, we can go all the way out here and then, like, the Milky Way. <laughs> There's other, like, places as well. Like, these are out of, total out of reach, um, which is even, like, crazier to look at. The black eye, like, there's... Oh, there's so much. This is just our galaxy. It's crazy. You see new galaxies right here. Um, but anyways, uh, we need to travel to these guys. So I got some crafting ahead of me. So the next few upgrades is definitely going to require some wool. So I have pretty much everything ready to go. Um, as far as this goes, I usually know it's going to require 24 of these thermal cloths. And each one of these thermal cloths require five of these so i believe i've done the uh, the math before and it ends up being like uh, 140 i think i think that's what it is what is it it's um so if i take a look so we need 24 it'd be 24 times 5 right pretty sure that's what it is 24 times 5 120 um so we're gonna need 120 of these and if we uh divide that up we're gonna need um 56 so a stack and 56 i believe um so i need 120 of these basically i just need a stack of these and then 56 of them and then i can make this stuff now i also might need to be up i might have to upgrade my space seat this looks like it's tier four and tier four is moving up and i think i now have the equipment required to get this actually no tier two might be what we need because this is the titanium I don't know though. Uh, let's see. We don't have zinc. We don't have palladium. We do have titanium. So it does look like titanium might be where we need to go as far as a tier two spacesuit goes. I tell you what, this is definitely a crafting grind here. Oh man, going through each one of these to, to get to this part. Like, what is wool cloth? Oh my goodness. So yeah, getting to each part of uh, our, all these, we have to go back to the first tier we made, then make this tier, and then slowly work our way up into this tier. We need four of each one of these because all of our parts, of course, get upgraded to this. Um, luckily, it's just these two that are like the first one that's super, super bad. These aren't too bad. I'm compressing this stuff down. So this should be just about everything. I think we have everything we need to make this spacesuit. Now, I do want to make the base spacesuit here and then upgrade it. I should have all the stuff to be able to do that. Right? Tier 2. Uh, does it need to be fully powered? Is that what that's saying? Maybe I'll just let this charge up to full power. Maybe that's the issue I'm having here. But um, I did have enough plates, which uh, I decided to go ahead and make those. Um, we have this and then this so this is our upgraded spacesuit so hopefully as soon as this reaches its max which it is doing right now it is fixing to be there and done maybe that means we can now do it yes okay so i wanted to at least get the the jets going that's that's i definitely wanted that so now we can swap this out and does it look exactly the same it's just like a higher tier it looks uh Pretty much the same, except for that, that jetpack looks super cool. That's a cool looking jetpack right there. All right, so <laughs> now that we have all this, I think I'm a little more prepared this time to go to the other planets. 
just a just a bit more prepared. <laughs> I feel. Um, I feel like this time we're not going to die once we get there. Um, also, I need to swap this out for this. There we go. And we should be just about ready. All we got to do is build the platform and make sure we have... Um, well, we go really high up really quick. This is the jetpack is definitely an upgrade. We need to make this area a little bit bigger. And I think just to do that is going to be to take this fuel loader and all of this and just to move it back a little bit uh, because we need to be able to fit all 25 of these platforms on here, um, which is going to be like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And it's going to need to be built along this side. Okay, so the fuel loader should still work the same way. There we go. And our rocket can go right there. Uh, after we build our rocket, of course. Um, let's see. I think we have everything on us to be able to do this. Tier 4 rocket. Fill this up. Don't really. I'm not really worried about storage, so I'm not going to worry about that. This and this. And our nose cone. And there we go. Tier 4 rocket. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we made it this far. It's like absolutely ridiculous to get here. It's crazy. It's crazy, I tell you. So all we have to do now is hook this bad boy up. Oh boy. Wow, this one actually looks pretty sick. Like the the rockets and the, the add-ons definitely <laughs> look a lot cooler. Uh, this one doesn't look like it has a window on it, which is fine. It doesn't really need a window, <laughs> especially when you're traveling in deep space. Look at that thruster down here. This thing looks sick. Okay, so as far as a, a pre-flight checklist, the only thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and do some astral sorcery stuff because I need to make myself another celestial gateway. So I think we're just about ready to go. I have all of my stuff ready to go. Let's go ahead and uh, pull this out. Just so when we get there, we can go ahead and get it built. I think we're going to be okay, though. I don't think we're going to have to worry about dying. At least I hope so. Um... I've prepared, I think, mostly. <laughs> I feel like there's always going to be something. Um, but let's hop in here. Let's check our fuel. It looks like fuel levels are good. And we are just about ready to launch. All right. So let's launch this bad boy. And let's uh, <laughs> let's hope that things go well um, when we get to the planets. I, I, oh, man. I have so much apples, by the way. I have so many apples um, from all of my bonsai bots. So, yeah, having a sack of apples it should hold me over for a while. But we're going to make our way here. Oh, sounds like everything just popped off. I need to make sure that we hit F5 so I can get out of here once we get up into the sky. Oh, man, this is, like, super tiny here. No window. But at least I don't have to worry about the graphical glitches like flashing all over the screen because that can get pretty rough. So here we are. We get to pick where we want to go. So we have series. I believe I'm saying that right. And then um, on within each of these, some of these have moons, right? So this doesn't have a moon, but Jupiter has four moons. So we have all these different places to, to go to. Um, this place has uranium. Also, the you want to keep an eye out on some of this information here. Uh, for example, corrosive atmosphere being false. That's amazing because if it actually had a corrosive atmosphere, that means the tools in our hotbar would slowly take durability damage. Uh, pretty much anything I think in our hotbar or on us would take durability damage and not a good thing. You definitely don't want that. But Jupiter has it. Um, and I don't know if all of its moons have it, it doesn't seem like all of them do. Looks like none of them have a corrosive atmosphere, which is great. Um, so there's all kinds of different stuff. Let's go ahead, I guess, head here. Tier four. I mean, we should be able to make this um, and hopefully we should be good. I'm looking more towards the uranium part of this. Also, it doesn't seem like there's radiation, which is great. Pressure level. Okay, everything looks pretty much like we should be okay. So let's go ahead and hit this up. And we're going to launch to series first. Probably not going to be super exciting as I, I think it's just sort of like the moon. So let's launch. Oh boy. <laughs> Every time this screen pops up and we're about to land on a planet, prepare for entry. Oh boy. Um, I always get nervous. I think it automatically puts us in F5, right? 
No, it doesn't. So, uh, we need to definitely maintain, hold space bar to make sure we're, our entry velocity is green. This is a pretty cool looking capsule here. All right. Oh, there's something right there. What is that? Off in the distance, looks like a satellite. What is that? Hey, good news. We're not dead. We didn't die. Oh, that's good. That's good news. Um, so to build, I mean, I guess we can go ahead and get started. I'm kind of scared because things do land on these areas and eventually, you know, I did bring enough items just in case even this gets broken, but we need to go ahead and get this all built up. Ah, that way we can explore. This actually is pretty nice. I like this, uh, this area. It's pretty, pretty calm so far. It's bright, which is nice considering most of the other planets I've been to have been pretty dim. And, uh, yeah, they've been really dim. They've been really dark. And, yeah, I, I, I like having a bit of light. I can actually see here. I'm kind of interested in what that is, though. That looks pretty cool. And uh, I've never been to these planets, so this is all new to me. I've not uh, explored this Galacticraft extension here. So, this is uh, going to be pretty neat. So, once we get this here, we should be able to set things up. And then I also want to make sure that I add a waypoint. So we make a portal. There we go. And uh, now we can go explore. Actually, first of all, let's set this to a portal as well. So that way we can teleport back whenever we travel. Wow, we fly really high, <laughs> really, really quick. Um, so this is some fluid, liquid crystal water. Is it like, is this deadly though? Okay, I touched it. Nothing happened. Liquid. It looks like milk. <laughs> it really does. Oh, it looks like I forgot to refill my oxygen oxygen containers, but that's okay. We still have quite a bit of oxygen. I want to explore this and see what this giant satellite dish is. That's over here. What is this cool stuff? Okay, there's like a pad down here. What is this about? Um, there's a hydraulic platform. Ooh, it lights up when you stand on it. Oh, does it take us up here? Wait, when we hold space, it actually like moves us up. Whoa, that's the stuff that I'm scared of. And there's chests up here. Unable to open loot not generated. Hey, I am here. This loot should be generated, all right? Unless we got some kind of lag. That's, that's hilarious that this like shoots us up almost like to crush us up here. So it's like galactic rat. Wow. Look at the, the pad. What are you doing pad? It like, it's like, I want to go with you. Communication dish. Okay. Are these generated now? Unable to open loot. Not generated yet. Interesting. Okay. So there we go. We're, we're off of the, now this is going to follow us wherever we go. I, yeah, th it's definitely okay. Communication disc. I, I don't, I don't need you. Let's, you know what? Let's go find something else. <laughs> okay. So this is definitely a, some weird issue. I, I don't know why it's doing this, but it's saying loot can't be generated because it thought that I was in spectator mode, even though I'm not. And when I joined into the game, it even showed I was in spectator mode. So I don't know if it like some random thing like this pad puts me in spectator mode. So like right here, like let's see, let's go down. It's doing something weird. I don't know. This thing is not having, not having it today. Um, I don't, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's something related to this hydraulic. Cause yeah, it put me, I couldn't even like move my stuff in my inventory. So, I logged out, logged back in, and I was in I was in spectator mode, which is kind of weird. Um, so now the loot is generating, and this is still doing weird stuff. But at least the loot's generating; we can actually find out what's inside here. Um, it looks like fragments of carbon, feather falling, some actually some nice enchants, which is really nice. Um, and it, by the way, if you want to know how to do this, you can hit space. And click on any item in here, and if you hold down space, it'll pull all items in. So this is right. Ooh, this has 
um, life leech on it, which is really, really great. It's a good enchant. So on this planet, there's actually another set of villagers, which has me thinking these guys trade something. Ah, it looks like Lunar Sapphire as well. Uh, higher levels of oxygen tanks, oxygen gear, pretty much the same thing, it seems like. Ex uh, hopefully, maybe higher tier rockets. No, it looks pretty similar to actually the moon, which has me like thinking like this is very much a moon ish planet. Um, yeah, I think it's one of those planets that like we don't really consider it a planet. <laughs> similar to like Pluto, right? Oh, wow. That just like completely knocked out that whole area. But these are made out of. Um, the stone, series stone. So I'm not finding anything new here from these villagers, alien villagers. So maybe like later trades could be unlocked. You don't know, never know. Um, these have glass on them. This is about as you know much as I've seen that's, that's kind of new over here. Other than that, it's pretty much just like a moonish soil. And yeah, there's another tower over here. So these have like loot in them. And then as far as a dungeon goes, I haven't really found anything dungeon-y, dungeon related. So I'm still looking, still looking for like a dungeon hole, <laughs> if there even is one on this place. Actually, I could probably tell, it'll actually tell me here um, if there is a dungeon, has dungeon false. So there actually isn't a dungeon here. So um, the only thing we're gonna find are these like artifacts and stuff like this right here. We're gonna find this. Which, I mean, it's not horrible. We got uh, armor pieces, so... And enchanted books, which honestly, the enchanted books are probably worth it in itself, as these are some pretty high enchanted books, like pretty high level stuff here. And yeah, these are oil. This is oil, by the way. Filled oil canisters. So that's another thing as well. And all these music discs. So... I mean, it kind of is worth it. So I went ahead and decided to go back home. And uh, with that, we can go ahead and t check out our rocket. I'm letting it fuel back up because I plan on actually going to the next planet. And that is going to be Jupiter. So at least I have base set up there on Ceres. So I think it's Ceres. So that way I can get, uh, get back there. So if we need to actually mine that uranium, I know it's there and we can get to it. But the good stuff is going to be on Jupiter and all of its moons. So... Um, each moon, it looks like we have uh, magma, ash, volcanic rock, iron, and tin on that one. On this one, that's kind of weird. On this one, we have iron and tin. Uh, we have ice. We have dense ice, and we have crystal water and radioactive water. So pretty much everything on this is the same as the other planet. Um, this one has infected water, apparently, and it has tin, iron, and ice. This one is going to have tin, iron, and crystal water as well. So not too much that's worth going there for, I, I don't think. This one has palladium. And also we have, uh, looks like a red gem, which is going to be there. And I think that's going to be something definitely worth trading with villagers, if there's even something we can do with red gem. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. Volcanic rock, magma. I mean, uh, pretty much every, everything you would expect to probably be on this planet. The good thing about Galacticraft is a lot of the stuff is very accurate to IRL, like to real life. So let's go ahead and head off. Looks like we're fueled up again, and we're going to take this to Jupiter, guys. We are heading to Jupiter. So here we go. We get to select Jupiter and launch. Oh, boy. Um, now, this has, like I said, the corro corrosive. Um, so that is one thing we do need to worry about is it potentially destroying our items, but I think we're going to be fine. Now, we're not going to get to explore too much of this planet, uh, but we will get a first look and get our uh, little setup set up so that way we can teleport to this place and go back and forth uh, because that's exactly what I want to be able to do. As far as the moons and stuff go, I mean, I definitely, we need a way to, to go back and we could use our rocket to go back, but let's say like taking one small step, taking a little bit of time. Oh, wow. That was horrifying. This looks very interesting. And as far as sound goes, wow. It's definitely loud. Oh, the lightning. Okay. So fire is probably something. Ooh. Look at the clouds. 
in the lightning? This is horrifying. This planet, no, right in the lava? Whoa. Ooh, or magma, sorry, it's probably not even lava. It's magma. I need to make sure this is on so that way when I break this, we get our item. Wow, do you see? We like, take a lot of damage when we land. Like, because of the, the weight of the gravity, I think, on this planet, it is that bad. Okay. Uh, first things first, we need to get astral sorcery stuff set up. I need to grab this, grab that, get our astral sorcery building materials, and we should be good. Sooty marble. There we go. Okay, um, yeah, so as far as this planet goes, it does seem like we got to land very carefully because, like, just this, yeah, we're taking a lot of fall damage. So having, like, some falling protection would be nice. One, two, three, four, five. Can we enchant this? Oh, gravity controller. Ooh, that might actually be useful. We might need to look into adding on stuff. I do like that we, we still have our step up. All right, so to get this, I mean, it's the same as we just did. It's nothing like super fancy. I don't know what that was. It looked like something straight up fell. There's a tower over there as well. Oh, there's so much stuff. So much new stuff. I'm really loving this so far though. Like the lightning, that's horrifying, but still really cool. All of this is really cool. Red sand. That is scary. I hate those things. I'm afraid that it's going to, like, break our portal we set up. And then I guess, I, I think there's a command you can run that is like, um, Houston, we have a problem or something like that. And if, when you do that, um, I believe it'll teleport you back to your, uh, your spawn location. But there we go. All right, we're set up. We're looking pretty good. Um, we can, wow, that map looks ridiculous. And we can say portal. And, uh, set it to yellow again. And we're good. All we gotta do is set this. And bam, we're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll. Look at that. As we move, this moves. That is some craziness over there. This looks like a, a spaceship. Yeah, man, our fall damage. We, I gotta be careful when I land. Wow, we take a lot of damage. Blocks of tin, blocks of aluminum. Wait, this is just straight up aluminum and tin. What? It looks like a spaceship. <laughs> okay, so we definitely have some exploring to do, but it does seem like as far as gravity goes, uh, having our jetpack is not our friend right now. But I don't know if we would be able to even jump very high at all if it wasn't for the jetpack. So that is something that we need to take a look at. But, you know, as far as this goes, I think we're going to explore this next episode. This is uh, pretty interesting, and there's going to be a lot of cool stuff, I'm sure, to uh, to take a look at. Whoa, that, that drop. That made my stomach flip. That was horribly scary. So, of course, as always, I want to give a shout out to one of my supporters, and that's a thanks... That is going to go to Lance uh, Mark Markan. I think that's right. Markan. Lance Markan, thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. I really do appreciate you. And if you're interested in becoming a Patreon yourself, you can, of course, find out that information down below. Guys, down in the description. There's a lot of cool information down there, by the way. And uh, if you did enjoy today's episode, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, also give this video a huge thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Also, click the like button if you did enjoy. Also, also check out my Discord. I do have some uh, some interesting stuff over there. You can all find all that information down in the description below as well. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.